Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a, a help ticket into Remedy. So our Remedy site is Remedy, R-E-M-E-D-Y dot Sandy dot net forward slash Remedy. Okay, you have to have the forward slash Remedy on there. And you're going to come to the login screen. Now this login screen can be a little bit glitchy, okay? But it's your AD password, so it's the same password you use for your email. Okay, so we go ahead and log in and you should see the requester console link. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so now we're going to click on new request. On the left hand side, new request. And we're going to go ahead down to logo. So if it's a regular student laptop, we'd select logo. If it was a loaner, we would select I-21 classroom, so that's the um, so logo for the um, X21Es, the Lenovo X21Es. Okay, remember don't type into the summary. You need to actually select it from this list um, or it won't get routed correctly in the system. Okay, next we click on this little three dotted button to open up our window. So once again, don't type directly into the box. Click on the three dots. Okay, now uh, we always reboot the laptop. It's the first thing that we do in tech support, so you can click, you can answer yes to this. The model type in SN, so we're going to call it Lenovo Laptop X21E. Okay, so we can give the model name. Okay, now we're going to give the uh, the SN number. So this is on the back of the computer. It's on the sticker on the upper right hand corner. It's right next to the letters S slash N. So in this case. Most of them start with the same, uh, in fact, all of them start with the same four or five characters. Okay, so the last three are the ones that are unique, so the, in this case the unique part is T97. Next thing we're going to do is add a piece of data, so we have to put in the C tag. So we're going to add C tag, and that is the San Diego Unified District um, barcode on the back of the computer, and it starts at C000, and then it's uh, 31 zero in this case the unique part is the 623 okay the room is always going to be library and then the detail of the issue is the important parts so they need to know what is happening with the computer and this should be on the front of the computer okay so in this case the internet is not working so we're going to put down laptop cannot connect to the internet okay so the laptop cannot connect to the internet, so that's going to be a problem. Now, if it was a 3G problem, we should we would have to, and 3G is the only case where we have to enter this additional information. So if it's a cracked screen, if it's some hardware problem, we just put the detail of the issue, you know, cracked screen, cracked case. Uh, if the case is cracked, they want to know whether it's the top of the case or bottom, so you want to put the location like cracked next to VGA port or cracked um, on the top of the case or cracked next to screen or something like that. Um, in the case of a 3G issue, it's the only time when you need to add this extra information. So there's a sticker on the back of the computer. If and only if it's a 3G problem, you need to add the MEID. Okay, it's a very long number. Um, so the X's here represent the, the very long number. And uh, IMEI, the X's here represent a very long number. Okay, so only for 3G issues do you need to do that. So in this case, it's just an it's just an internet problem. So it's a you know the Ethernet or the wireless card or software that, that connects one of those. Um, so we don't need to add either of those numbers. So this is the the completed help ticket. Now we know that we're probably going to be doing more than one of these at a time. So if I go ahead and highlight it and copy it now, it can save me a lot of time putting it in, putting the next one in. So I go ahead and click OK, and then I click Save. And I should get this uh, notice. So help disk has been notified of the assignment. I click OK. I get another one. Help disk. Uh, the case number has been submitted to help desk. Make sure that to note this case study for future reference. Uh, click OK. And we go back to our main screen. Now, the problem here is, is that um, in this listing, so if you look at this list I'm highlighting, the, the ticket that you just created won't appear in this list. So we have to click refresh. And then we're going to go ahead and, and we'll see that this list has been refreshed. And now we can access the, the help ticket that we just made. So it's going to be the top one right here. So now we have to print out the help ticket in order to put it in the computer and into the cart waiting for the tech to come and fix it. That's how the tech's going to find 
the computer uh, once it's in our, our cart. So we click into the, notice that I went ahead and clicked the help ticket number here. So I had clicked refresh, I clicked the help ticket number. And this brings us back into the help ticket. Okay, notice that this is the text that I typed in here. I don't need to do anything on the screen. The only thing I'm doing here is going down to the bottom, right next to save, I'm gonna click print case. When I click print case, it's going to open up two windows. Now notice the difference between these two windows. One has the case ID on it, and one does not. Okay, what we need to do is you need to close the, the front window and actually print the second window that has the case ID. So we go ahead and I did uh, control P to bring up the print dialog. So I hold down the control button, press P to bring up the print dialog. Click OK to send it to the printer. Okay, one, uh, there is a quick key combination that you can quickly close these windows. So it's actually Alt space bar to open and then C to close. Or you can just go ahead and click the X at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do hold down Alt, press the space bar, press C, and it closes that right out. Oops. Oops, I accidentally zoomed in. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the close button, and that will bring us back out to the um, to the main screen. We're ready to do the next help ticket. Okay, uh, we want to go ahead and get the paper version, the paper that I just printed out, out of the printer. Put it, take all the papers that were here originally. So take the sticky note, take the form out of the computer, and uh, we're actually going to insert the paper that we just printed into the computer and put it into the cart, waiting for the tech. Uh, when you put the paper in the computer, you're going to want to have the um, the help ticket number sticking out of the computer and visible. Okay, good luck.